Hey, it's me, Sarah. I wanted to share another mini album with you. Uh, this is a custom order mini album. And I used the Nature's Garden by Prima. I used two of the paper pads, the 6x6. There's 48 sheets in it. I just used different sheets from both of the pads. Also, I used Blue Fern Studios uh, Deja Vu collection. I just used one of each of the 12x12 12 12 papers. And I don't have much of the scraps left over. I, I had a little bit and I added them to another mini uh, junk journal, my first one. I'm gonna share that with you um, real soon. So, I really like this paper collection. Oh my goodness, it's so, so yummy, delicious. Oh my goodness, I just love it. It's so pretty, so beautiful. So, let me show you the album. Here it is. Uh, this was custom ordered. Uh, it's called Blessings. It is for a tea party. Uh, it is religious based. So there's a lot of um, religious memorabilia in it. Uh, as far as uh, the inside, like I have um, some stickers that say about prayer and God and uh, things like that so it turned out really beautiful I really really love it how I how I did this this is more my style I think uh, you really see a lot of what I really like in this it's rustic it's shabby chic it's it's just beautiful I love it so, so I'm this is the side. Um, I just used some of the seam binding and a little a ribbon or uh, lace. This is on here. I used one of those um, We Are Member Keepers eyelets, the wide eyelet, eyelet. And then I have a couple charms on here. I have a bird cage and a bird, a rose. A little pearl with diamond bling around it. Uh, one that says love on it. A little uh, gold heart. And then this is a heart locket. You can actually open it up. Actually put something in there if you want it. And it's all hanging from a Tim Holtz uh, swivel clasp. And then here's the back. It has the paper collection. And then... Um, The music paper behind that, and the dually, and then cheesecloth, and then I used fun fur, um, eyelash trim, and then this is leather, uh, specialty paper, and I punched it with a ribbon hole punch on the side, and added the ribbon to it, and then I tied it off at the top, and then this is just the... Martha Stewart lace trim. And then I added a rosette trim on the, on the side. And the front is layered with the same. The paper and then the cheesecloth and a dually. And then I have uh, burlap. There's like a teapot here and it has a little bit of pearl trim and a little bit of pearl on the cup and then the end here and the button with a little bit of uh, trim um sorry I'm watching me say um a little bit of the little trim here and lace and some stick pins with 
uh, leaves on them and a little bit of these velvet flowers. These two are Marion Smith uh, rose roses. And a dollar fifty spot Michael's rose right there. And this is Tim Holtz um, safety pin. It says vintage on it. And um, sorry. This is a chipboard piece from Blue Stern Studios. And the, so is the blessings. I just. I uh, just sewed it and then I inked it up with all the papers inked up with uh, vintage photo. So with that being said, let's open this up. I have it in for reinforced with seam binding and some lace and then this is held together. It's magnetic and it is, um, sorry, basic gray. They made these ribbon, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm off camera, I'm so sorry. So, the magnetic closure here is basic gray and it just sucks like that. I hope you know. I need to make sure I keep it in frame. I am so sorry. So we'll open this up and inside I have a bunch of just book trim or book pages and uh, eyelash trim, uh, chipboard piece with ribbon or not ribbon, lace and a lace ribbon. Uh, I guess lace trim uh, this says answered prayer and then I made this booklet and this booklet is I made this out of a package it's acetate and I made it out of a package I just put cardstock on the back to make little hinges so it'll stay on there and then I put some trim here, lace trim. This is Child of God. And then this opens up. I made it so it will have trim on it. And you just tie a bow over the eyelet. And this is actually a flower eyelet and a brad. And I, th I think it turned out really cute. I don't know if you can tell. Probably can't. But the bottom, the top of that eyelet, is actually looks like a flower. So I, th I just think it turned out really cute. I put some of this lace trim here and the ribbon. What you do is you open it up, and I didn't cover my brad piece up there. I'll have to do that. And inside is a little mini file folder, and then you have these little note cards and I'm gonna put some uh, stamps on these or add some Bible verses to it. I got this idea off of Lovely Scrappin. She's on YouTube. You look her up. She has multiple videos. I love watching her videos. She ain't active on there anymore right now but I'm hoping she comes back. Anywho, I got this idea off of her. It's using envelopes and you just glue them together, making sure that you leave a fourth of an inch on each side so you can get the accordion uh, effect. And then I just had these tags. I'm pretty sure uh, they're Paper Studio, they're blank tags. I got them at Hobby Lobby and they actually ended up fitting in to the smallest envelope you can make on the envelope punch board. So it worked out awesome. And then I just 
made this, she shows you how to make the cover and uh, the back cover, you know, to cover up the envelopes to make the file folder. And the, yeah, that's what I come up with. She shows you a bigger version using the full sized um, regular standard envelopes that you would get for like the mail. And I just went with it, made my own size and went from there. But yeah, that's what I come up with. And that just tucks in that little pocket that I made. Then I made another envelope. And this is held together with one of those little Velcro dots. And there is a tag inside. Again, it fits perfectly in there. And I put a sticker that says trust. This is a doily and I have a button that has a bow on it with fun fur and seam binding and burlap. Spit it out, Sarah. Burlap, some lace. Oh my goodness, I won't say that again. That probably sounded really awful. <laughs> so any <laughs> there's a dolly and the design of this album I got off of oh my goodness what is her name scrapbook maven this is her design as far as the um, album pages go and I did my own take on the the covers and the spine Hers is a six by six. I ended up making the spine piece before. I was actually going to make this a paper bag mini, but when I did the inside uh, hinges, I ended up making them too big and I couldn't do use the paper bags. So I ended up using her. I followed her tutorial that she has. Once again, it's Scrapbook Maven. I just had to customize the size down and make it six by, I think it's five and three quarters. So I had to cut off a quarter of an inch. And when I did that, I couldn't do the page styles like her because the side that I cut off, the way that you make the pages, or it just didn't work out. So this is what I was ended up stuck with, but ended up working out okay so uh, done with the rambling so first off you pull this down I have another tag floating tag in there you could tuck it up underneath here and it says timeless beauty on it but that you fold down and all the trims on here the uh, edge is done with Tim Holtz I think it's brackets I think that's what it's called so this is the not uh, what is it nature garden paper and then this is deja vu paper and then the inside and the outside covers are the nature's garden so that flips down Let's put that back in there and then this opens up these are magnetic and you got these two so you have four uh, let's see you got one two three four five you got six places and then this is the back and I just made a little um, pocket using the same um, on the edge die this is a little um, paper sack and sorry I used um again I put uh, one of those stickers says hope it's a little banner and then I put lace down here and then I used cheesecloth and paper book and trims and then I put I use I punched that all all those layers and put a brad and stuck it in there and then I glued it on and that's the insert so I'm probably going to put like a Bible verse or a um, stamp saying on that. Just haven't got to it yet. 
I'm so excited to share this album. Oh, it's one of my favorites. And then here's the book, uh, music paper, and it says there's a wildness and mercy, God's mercy. So that's the. Sorry about that. It's my phone buzzing. So then the next page is kind of mimicking the first. It's the same design. There's a cutout piece, and I used the chip. Um, a cutout. Sorry, I used um again. Ooh! There is a chipboard piece that I covered with the paper, and it is a teacup. And then on this one, it's magnetic too. And this is deja vu paper. This is the nature's garden. You flip that down, and then you flip it open. And you have the photo mat there, and a photo mat here. And then you shut it, and I have a talk spot right here, and this is deja vu, and some lace here, and a little mixture of all the fibers there, and then I made this tag, it says pray more, worry less, with a little arrow, and I used some lace with a button, and some eyelash trim on the top, doily with some lace, and lace trim with a button and this one pulls down i used the i forgot when i was building and constructing it i didn't put the uh magnets inside so i ended up using little um sorry little velcro dot and then there's the doily and we open it up on this side. Isn't that paper beautiful? I just love that paper. And pretty green. Lovely mm -hmm. my green. And then you shut it and this is the back side. And all of the tops, I'm sorry I didn't show you. They're made the same way. They just have different designer paper on them or deco paper however you want to say it, but, and I put paper on the top, and then I corner punch these using a Fiskars punch, Don't get in. yeah, and corner punch, and I, the paper that I had left over was enough to make a tag, and then I had these left over for making the album, so I, I used these as a pocket and put a tag on the back of them. So that's how all the inserts at the top of the paper go. Here's another, it's held together on another one of those bags, it's held together with a paper clip, with the insert, it says faith, hope, and love sticker with lace and a little lace and uh, or no cheesecloth with a little chipboard and chipboard embellishment with a button and another tag I made it said let go and let God with it's all along with a spiral paper clip and then this is a turn and I did another one of those eyelets on here with held it with ribbon. And you open this up. So that folds down. You close it again. And then this opens up for more photos. And then you just tie this again. Go over top of that. And that folds that, that one down. So I'll just do that here. And then you sh open it up. And this side, this is a pocket. And again, sorry. Just to glue that in there. Oh my goodness. Not good. Glad I noticed that now. 
sorry about that. So this is a bunch of fibers, held together with a with a chipboard on top or chipboard piece on top and a brad. And this is a tag that says count your blessings with some tr lace trim on the top. And I put our God, our help in age past. It's a music hem and that's on there. And then this is another tag that I made with seam binding and I have a little uh, cut out piece embellishment that held on, a little teacup. Then on this side is a little insert that I made that's held together with a little template paper clip. You open it up and it says, so blessed. That paper clip is holding that tag on there too. Sorry about that, my, if you can't hear that, my phone keeps on buzzing. And then I have some more trim here with book, book pages, a little bit of trim here with one of those pins on there. That's how I decorated with the trim. And there's a lace trim here. Use that deco edge on to make a pocket and then it says for we walk by faith, not by sight. And this opens up, or this turns this way. So that is the pocket. And this turn this way. Then you swivel this, and this comes down. And that. And there's just a tag. And this is a chipboard piece I covered with Tim Holtz tissue paper and it says pray and I wrapped a little bit of that trim around it and I tucked in the fibers behind there to give it a little interest and then this one opens up this way and you have your photo spots right there and that is using that deja vu paper I love this one I love the checkered and being the triangle with the bike, and the Eiffel Tower, and all the flowers. Just beautiful, beautiful paper. And then I made another tag, the dually right there. Added some fibers, a little heart sticker. Put a photo here. It's held together with the brad again. It's a blessed. And you turn the page, and this is just a little cut out from the paper line. It says, have faith. It's a teacup. And I made a tag out of burlap paper that they sell. Pretty sure I got it at Joann's. And this is stamped. You, I'm pretty sure they use gesso. But it's stamped with gesso. And it looks like lace. It's really pretty. So that's held on. I don't know if I can get it back on that doily. Probably should hang it somewhere, but no, I'll have to do it later. Pray more, worry less is a sticker. And then here is a teacup that says believe banner on it, sticker with lace trim behind it. And these are all magnetic. And these flip up, and I have put dolies and another teacup right there. And these are pockets, which I'm going to fill, you can fill with photos or put a tag in there. Um, I could put some more Bible verses. I actually made these note cards. These are um, coffee dyed and tea dyed. And I just held them together with a little brad. But I'm probably going to put these inside there. And add some Bible verses to them. Or Bible um, 
inspirational uh, uh, words. The Ivy's all flip up, and sorry, let me get these in there. And there's another tea pot there. It says Grace, not perfection. And these two are envelopes, and then the other two are just pages that I had left over that I didn't make into flaps. And then there's another one of these tags. It says Grateful. I made another envelope. Let me just open it up. And I didn't put a tag inside of it. You can put whatever you want in there. And then you just wind it back up. Work with me, fingers. Okay, there we go. So, and that's that. Uh, this page, this opens up, and then this page opens up. Isn't that pretty? It's like a pinkish peach, peach color with clouds, different flowers. Butterfly, little thingy, butterfly, and the birds. Oh, it's just so yummy. Do you like that? Okay, I know. It's pretty. I really like it. I like it a lot. So, this is this album. I'm hoping that. It meets expectations of the one that has custom ordered it, and I guess we'll see. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys like this. Please, please let me know what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe to my channel. And I guess I will see you when I see ya. And okay, later.